Hello, it's Dr. Ishikawa again, and today I want to show you how to use your protractor clinometer to measure the height of a tree. So I'm out at Holmes Junior High, and we have this tree over here, and I have gone back far enough that I can see the top of the tree, and I know that I'm viewing the top of the tree. And I measured, so I measured till I could see the top of the tree, and then I stopped at um, 10 meters so that I have a nice even number. So it's nice to have a nice even number. So I'll put my foot right there <laughs> and then get ready with my clinometer. So when I am measuring up so that I'm going to be looking upward, I will want to make sure that I have the um, protractor set so that when the string, when, when I tilt it up, so I'm looking up, the string falls on um, a place that I can read it. Okay, so that is, for me, that's putting it so the, um, the round end is toward my eye. So when we measure the tree, we're going to want to get a measurement for the top and for the bottom of the tree and then we'll take um, the difference between those two heights to get the total height of the tree. And the reason that you do the top and the bottom um, is because like where I'm standing, I'm on a hill. And so the, the bottom of the tree is not just straight from me. So I can't just add eye height, which you sometimes can do. All right, so I am going to look into this with my right eye or you could do it with your left eye if you want but I'm using my right eye and I'm looking through the straw with my right eye and I'm looking to see that top of the tree and get that in line with my straw and um, the thing is bouncing around if you have somebody to read it they could just read it for you 32 degrees thank you and if you don't you can try and catch it and actually I did get 32 of that, so, so that was good. We got 32 degrees and that'll be our top reading. So now we're going to read the bottom. And so when I first did this, I um, got a little flustered because I looked down and I thought, oh no, my clinometer is not gonna be able to read the bottom because it's off the scale now since I'm looking down. So it turns out all you have to do is flip your clinometer around so that when you look down, it goes onto the scale. <laughs> so I'm going to look down again. I'm going to sight through the straw, look at the bottom of the tree, and then we can read what it reads here. Oh, shoot, wait. About four degrees. Okay. And then we can catch it and check it, see if I get the same thing. Yeah, that looks about right. It's about one, two, three, four. So you'll probably have very small readings that you can just count. Um, you probably won't get up to 10. You'll just have to count on the 180 scale. All right, so I will show you, that's basically what you're going to do for getting the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree. We will take these angles and we'll use trigonometry to turn them into heights. And then we'll take the height of the top of the tree and subtract the height of the bottom of the tree. And that will give us the total height of the tree in the end. So we'll go over those calculations in class. All right. Bye-bye.